Hello YouTube, this is Josh and this is the Tech News Weekly Recap. Today uh, in mobile app news, Roller Coaster Tycoon Classic comes to Android and iOS. So it is a $5.99 paid app with no real microtransactions, which is a nice uh, feature. It does have a $1.99 expansion pack that you can purchase that adds additional themes for the buildings and coasters, the scenery. And it's too early to tell whether how popular it'll be. Obviously, there's lots of Roller Coaster Tycoon fans as they've come out with numerous uh, games and expansions over the years, including the soon-to-be-released uh, Roller Coaster Tycoon World uh, on the heels of uh, another Coaster Tycoon game, uh, Planet Coaster, which has been uh, wildly successful in my opinion. And I've done a uh, Let's Play on that. And it's been a, a great game. So looking forward to uh, seeing Roller Coaster Tycoon Classic come out on mobile. It's uh, a nice addition to your uh, mobile gaming platform. And should be a fun game to pick up. Next up, uh, you Blade Runner fans. Uh, the first Blade Runner 2049 trailer has been released. And it will feature Ryan Gosling and Harrison Ford reprising his role as uh, Agent Decker searching for the replicants and everything that uh, that has to go along with the uh, Blade Runner series that you know real cyberpunk um, gritty sci-fi movie genre uh, the first movie was excellent I thoroughly enjoyed it, it definitely leaves you wondering uh, the whole questions at the ending so I'm looking forward to this one. It should definitely be uh, good. I'm hoping, anyway. Uh, we're just when we thought that the smartwatch outlook was kind of bleak. Google has gone and announced that two new flagship smartwatches will be released early next year, and they will come with Android Wear 2.0. And they will not be Google or specifically Pixel branded, but they will have the branding of whatever manufacturer um, creates them. But they will definitely be uh, sold like as Google products, similar to the Google smartphone and tablets before they had their own branding. Um, I'm going to list an article in the description below that also is going to list the smartwatches that will be getting the Android Wear 2.0 upgrade next year and hopefully yours is on the list so you get lots of uh, new features that are going to be coming to the uh, update. Uh, next up Dish Air TV Player so Sling which is technically owned by Dish is obviously competing with the DirecTV Now, the uh, PlayStation View TV, has kind of gone and accidentally released or leaked, should I say, a picture of their streaming set-top box. So if the market wasn't already flooded with media players, uh, another one is coming. And this one obviously is specific for Sling, though right now they say that it will feature uh, a Netflix app to be able to watch streaming Netflix. So why a streaming box? And why this one compared to say an Apple TV or a Roku or Nvidia Shield or on and on and on with all the other media player streaming boxes that are out there. Uh, the big draw that will be for this one is that it's going to have an over-the-air antenna connection. So those of you who have Xbox Ones, you know, Xbox One S obviously, have an, an antenna jack. So you can hook up a digital antenna and use it to watch over-the-air TV. So things like Fox, ABC, CBS, NBC. Now Sling is hoping to be able to obviously court some of the people who are almost on the brink of cord cutting but don't want to give up the ability to watch those big four over-the-air broadcast networks. Now Sling does offer in, one, in some of its packages the ability to watch those channels but they're also region locked so 
only if you live in certain big metropolitan areas do you have the ability to get those four big channels through the Sling app. And so by giving you the ability to hook up an antenna and watch live over the air TV, and they're bringing in the broadcast that way versus in their app. And so the issues with their agreements with those broadcast networks won't be impacted. You'll be able to watch those live over the air TV channels without the issues that not living in one of those big metropolitan areas would bring. So it's, I guess, a positive. Um, for me, I just switch the input on my TV and can watch the over-the-air channels that way. I mean, I guess if you wanted one device uh, to not have to switch back and forth on inputs to be able to watch everything that you want to watch, that may work. But only if Netflix is really the only other thing that you use. And you obviously have a Sling subscription. So I don't know how big of a draw this will be, but um, it's a possibility for those who really love Sling. Now I know many of you, like myself, and my brothers included, probably really liked the show Mythbusters. And we were deeply saddened when Carrie, Grant, and Tori were let go from the show. And ultimately when the show ended uh, with Adam and Jamie. However, thanks to Netflix now, we have a new uh, subsequent show in the same spirit called The White Rabbit Project. Features Carrie, Tori, and Grant doing different uh, experiments and science tests. And it, I watched the first couple episodes now and have thoroughly enjoyed it. Uh, it brings all the best parts of Mythbusters back to viewers again. And I've really enjoyed uh, what I've seen so far, the humor and the technology and the science behind things. It's just such an interesting show to watch. Um, and you actually learn something. So I'm very excited to continue watching. There's a uh, 10 episode first season on Netflix now, and that's available. So this is Friday, and it is the Tech News Weekly review. It is also the Friday before Christmas, so I hope everyone has a happy holidays and enjoys the weekend, and I will hopefully be back with you next Friday to do this again. Again, please don't forget to like and subscribe. We really appreciate you guys watching, and we will see you next week.